The site is testament to the thickness of the planet's airy, airy envelope. Airy, air, e. What does air mean again? Oh yeah, it's that stuff we breathe. You'll never know just how much I love you. Please don't take my blue Venus away. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. I ain't crazy. I'm science and for sure. You know, how come I keep looking at Venus going, that's a lot like Earth? Saying, wow. That's a whole lot like Earth. But then I guess Venus is Earth's twin. Except for the fact that we have an atmosphere you can skydive in, breathe in, make love under the stars, go hang gliding, fly a kite, play a volleyball. And if you were on Venus in a bikini, you would instantly be consumed by searing pain and acid. And then your head would explode. And you might be like, hey man, why don't we have a lot of pictures and photographs and rovers and orbiters and GoPro cameras on Venus? And well, I believe the official answer is that Venus is like a black hole. Anything that even gets close to it gets destroyed. So we can't even put orbiting satellites outside of Venus. They take a lot of cool pictures and stuff because uh, it just gets sucked into its black hole acid atmosphere and then it totally gets destroyed and taxpayer money is wasted. And there is nothing. There is nothing that hurts a space agency more than wasting taxpayer dollars and not returning some good hard science for their money. Yeah, we sure don't know a lot about Venus. After all these years, Venus is still a total mystery. It's like a million Pandorian boxes. That's why we don't go there. That and the major power structures in America are totally misogynistic. They hate women. And Venus is a woman. Now granted, Mother Earth is a woman too. But you see how these same power structure people treat Mother Earth. They're raping her every chance they get. And Venus, well, science says it. You know, science is, science will tell you. Venus is an ugly bitch that smells bad. So, you want to stay away from Venus. So, you want to stay away from Venus. She'll melt your face off, man. If you had an impeccable soul in the Indiana Jones scene where they opened the Ark and everybody's face melted off, would your face melt off if you looked at the Ark? Is Venus the Ark? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, so the reason I'm bringing this up again is because all these crazy photographs of Venus keep popping up on spaceweather.com, one of my favorite sites on the interwebs for amateur astronomer-based photographs and information. And all these photographs I see of Venus, now that technology's catching up with the pros, I'm like, hey dude, something feels weird. I got a weird feeling. Why do I get this bad, weird feeling? And back in the day, the European Space Agency and the National Autonomous Space Agency and NASA used to use the term unveiling Venus. Like there is a veil over Venus. They don't use that word anymore. Have I ever told you what the actual definition of apocalypse is? It means the uncovering or the unveiling. Now, I don't want to get in any more trouble than I am already in. Because it is no fun to be broke and on the run. I'm just saying Venus is weird. The attitude towards Venus is weird. Everything's weird, though, really. It's a weird-ass world right now. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. <laughs>